Kafita, whose combat name was Station, joined Swapo Party in 1965 at Walfish Bay and was inspired by the late stalwart Natna Makwilili and others. He later went into exile and in 1972 was deployed to the Eastern Front where he participated in many battles. One of his outstanding battle successes was when they captured the enemy's heavy machine guns, radio communication equipment, medication and military topographic maps. President Hage Genkop in his condolence message read on his behalf said, Kafita's death placed a heavy burden on the hearts of many Namibians. Comrade Kafita leaves behind a stellar record of, of committed service to Namibia. We salute this brave son who will be dearly missed. Founding President Sam Nyoma, former President Hifike Punye Pohamba, and Swapo Secretary General Shofiasha Ningwa all spoke on the good deeds and bravery of the late Kafita, which they say will never be forgotten. Having been to the exile, he obtained several military, intelligence, and professional training in several countries and was deployed on important mission, namely through Botswana, Zambia, Mozambique, Angola, modern Germany, and the Soviet Union. His nephew, Eric Nengwanya was saddened that, although his uncle spent his youthful life fighting to liberate his country, he died poor and retired from the police with a low rank. There is a time that we start as a country, as a party, as a government to understand that we must do application of meritocracy. We must evaluate people what they did and what they can do because honestly we have really felt that Tateguru was left out. He was given nothing and he died without anything. Kafita is survived by his wife and four children. Jonathan Yaimbodi, NBC News. Okambebe Village.